playful, clever, see what species everybody's been raving about. Hey everyone, Tanya here, your naturalist on the Wild Pacific Trail. We're going to soar into today's episode all about our familiar friends, the common raven. From the corvid family, these birds live up to 10 to 15 years and can weigh up to a liter or two of water. That's 35 million times as heavy as a grain of salt. Birds can't use their beak to groom their head feathers, so they use their feet. And because of their social nature, they're one of few species that can actually help each other out, just like we help our friends in their tricky to reach places. Hello, my name is Carl Sieber. I work for Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. If I'm an interpreter, Shouldn't I be able to tell you what the ravens are saying? Absolutely, I can do that. This is what the ravens are saying. Now, my accent is probably terrible, and I probably messed up most of the words, but I tried. And that's the only way to learn any language. Try it yourself. The next time you hear a raven calling, call back. Start the conversation. Listen to how they react. Watch how they react. If you do talk to the ravens, be smart about it, just like they are smart. How smart are they? Well, you can try being a smart raven with an activity that you can do with a friend inside or outside. One of you has something you want to share with the other. One of you speaks only human language. The other speaks only raven language. The raven hides the object. The human has to find it. How are you going to communicate? Figure it out. Even if you don't know how to speak raven, it's always fun to try like this. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Oh, oh. You have something to show me? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'll follow you. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Carl. I'll keep working on my raven calls. Being among the smartest of all birds, ravens have actually been observed trading. Better yet, trading fairly. In an experiment where humans were trading greater and lesser value items with them, they would exchange items of the same value. These waste management omnivores scavenge upon dead creatures with their great digestive systems. They also work together to prey on rodents, worms, insects, eggs of other birds, and opportunistically on human food. They'll even try to get into your unattended lunch bag, even if you don't have a sandwich in there. I learned that firsthand on a school group. Watch your snacks. To learn more about other waste management species, check out our video on slugs. Here on the West Coast, we also have the raven's smaller doppelganger, the crow. The crow and the raven are closely related, but as you can see, there are several distinguishing differences starting with the feathers on their throat. You can see crows don't have the long fancy ones. Next is the tail. I've often heard raven round. You can see it's a much greater curve. Ravens croak. Crows caw. And here they are in action. Ravens full of aerial maneuvers. And crows, less so. Not to mention, crows can be about half the size of a raven. We want to be their friends and have fun in our attempts to communicate with them. But let's give these corvids the space that they need and avoid giving them the food that they don't need. Ravens are not only role models of communication, fair trade, and savvy intelligence, but they play an essential role as ecosystem recyclers. We have a lot to learn from nature. We just have to listen. Thanks for exploring with us today on Learn Where You Live. <laughs>